Hey there, this is Jordan from Rolls Battery. Today we're going to be discussing how to use the Rolls LFP desktop software to connect to a Rolls S48100 LFP ESS battery over RS485 and read its parameters and settings. Now, in order to do this, our first step is going to be connecting the battery to our computer. We're going to do that first by properly addressing the dip switch on the battery to RS485 following the table that's available in the manual. In my case, I only have one connected battery, so I'll be using dip address 1 for that unit. Next, we'll take the included RJ45 to DB9 cable and connect that to the RS485 port on the front of the battery. Next, we'll take the DB9 end and use an RS485 to USB adapter to connect that to our PC. Now, the RS485 to USB adapter is not included in each box, however, these are widely available online. Once we've made the physical connections, we can move over Computer. here. Now we'll be checking our port number. In my case, I'm using COM3. And we'll make sure our baud rate is set to 19200. And our protocol name is Rolls BMS 16S. If we need to change that in the future, we can import a protocol in the top left. Now I've already selected pack one here, but know that I can select any of the other connected batteries or multiple at once. Now I'll hit connect to establish the connection and quickly I see the battery parameters populate on the Rolls LFP desktop software. I can see my state of charge, my battery voltage, and my current, as well as any warnings. Of course there are none right now. I have my individual cell voltages for all the series connected battery cells and my maximum and minimum voltages as well. I've got the voltage difference which totals to 2 millivolts right now, as well as estimates of remaining capacity and state of charge on the right. I have a state of health measurement as well as the voltage on here as well. I have four temperature sensors in various places around the cell block that give me temperatures for the entire battery, as well as two BMS temperatures, one for the ambient and one for the switch. Now beyond that, once I've connected, we can see that more options are now available in the top bar. I've got real-time, communication log, real-time record, and history. Now I can click on real-time and I'll start populating into the real-time record. I'll open that now, and we can see that I have second-by-second -second data for all the parameters in my battery. This will continue to run as long as I'm connected to the battery and can be ran for multiple batteries at once. Once this is completed, I can save this and export it to a CSV file and view it later. I'll stop that now and stop recording. Next, in the communication log, I can view all the data that's coming over RS-485 to my computer and over CAN bus if that's being used. I can also view this as hex data or save it as a CSV and view it later. Next, if I come over to the history, I can get all the saved data that's being stored on the BMS. I'll click get all and watch as all those parameters come into my computer. As well, I can export these and view them later, but this will show previous disconnects, previous warnings issued by the battery, and anything else. So it's a great way to diagnose potential problems that you haven't really figured out yet. I can save this as I mentioned, and I'll close. Lastly, over on the right, we can change our CAN bus settings. By default, the S48100 LFP ESS is shipped with the Victron communication protocol loaded for CAN bus. Now the other CAN bus protocols are referred to in the manual, but you'll have to set those separately if you're using a different device. Over here we have the set points for Pylon Tech, GrowWatt, Victron, SMA, Solus, and Studer. In order to select yours, you'll double click, and then we'll see that the set point has been properly set. Now once that's done, you can refer to the manual or the specific inverter manual in order to complete the established connection for closed loop communication. Finally, we can break our connection. And we're done. Thanks very much for listening. And if you have any questions on the Rolls LFP desktop software or the S48100 LFP ESS, refer to the manual or our solutions articles or contact us directly at support at rollsbattery.com. Thanks very much. Bye.